I sit down to record, and here comes my baby. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is October 1st. It is the first of the month of Halloween. Yes, Halloween gets an entire month all to itself because it's that important. I wanted to quickly mention what I will be using today. I'm going to be using the CC Beauty face paint. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Makeup Forever one. I personally do not own the Makeup Forever version of this one, so I couldn't tell you about the actual quality in comparison to the two. I wish I did have it so I could tell you guys, but I just don't. The colors from the Makeup Forever one to the CC Beauty one are spot on though. If you look up a image of the Makeup Forever one, you can see that these colors look almost exactly the same. However, I would not recommend this face paint because these are oil based and personally I have oily skin. It gets extremely oily throughout the day. If I were to wear this for a long period of time, my face would be a disaster. It is so oily that once it is on your face, if you happen to touch it, you happen to like to scratch it a little bit or like just touch it like that, I mean everything is just going to move around. So it's not worth it to get it. I would recommend just checking out the drugstore, seeing if there are any water-based ones that are better than this. If you want to see the scary creation, then let's get right into the video. So first I began with taking the white face paint in the palette on a foundation brush and applied it to the entirety of my face and made sure to bring it down my neck. shade Ella from the Measurable Difference Lip Cream Set and I wanted to make my lips look a lot more rounder and kind of smaller in a way so I avoided my natural lip line and extended it down and upwards. Then taking the black shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette on a small detailer brush by Wet n Wild, I'm going to be outlining the shape of my eyes. Since I did cover my eyebrows with the white face paint, I am just going to be lining where my eyebrows go and then bringing it down in a kind of oval shape to define the eyes. I then took a little bit more of that black color on the brush you get inside of an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and blended it out. As you can see, I did it to both eyes, but I edited it out so that way the video isn't extremely long. I repeated the process once more because when you take the black eyeshadow on top of the white face paint, the color turns a little bit blue, so I wanted to make sure it was a really black color, so I went ahead and went over it once more. took the same detailing brush and started drawing the cracks that are going to go along my face. I could not tell you the rhyme or reason behind this. I would just suggest if you try to recreate this yourself, just follow along where I put it or just make up your own. It's all about having fun with it. I took the detailing brush and felt around where my eye socket was and where my natural eye shape is and just went around and made a circle around it and then I was taking the other side of the Anastasia brush with the more of the black shade and started filling it in. into the black contact lenses where it blacks out your entire eye. I however did not get it because 
they are slightly expensive and I'm not planning to wear this look out. I am just doing this for the tutorial and a quick picture. tip is if you mess up just take the foundation brush which you applied the white face paint with and just kind of clean up the areas where you want to change it a little bit it'll go over easily and you can easily fix what you messed up I then wanted to define the eyes a little bit more so I created a line that went slightly underneath where the black eyeshadow went using the definer brush and then smoking that out using a smudger brush. I did this process to both eyes, I just edited it out, and then I also took the blending brush and blended it out some more. So for shading the face, I took on a smudger brush the black eyeshadow and I went around all of the lines that I created that are the cracks. And then I went ahead and blended it out using the same blending brush. I then wanted a little bit more detail all over the face, so I just went around and created some more lines that are smaller little cracks. I then began outlining a piece that has been knocked out and is now a hole in the face. like it's hollow in there and it's not just one shade, it has some dimension to it. on the side of my nose so I applied some black eyeshadow and blended it out. I then put my hair in some very messy pigtails in order to see better what I needed to edit before I completed the look. To give my face a little bit more definition to it, I took some black eyeshadow and blended it out. That way my face wasn't just one shade of white face paint, it had some depth to it. To deepen up the lines, I took the e.l.f. liquid liner and went around each and every single crack and outlined it some more, that way it stood out.
but not least, I decided I wanted some more shading around all the cracks in my face, so I went around with a detailing brush, and then I smudged it out with the smudger. you guys really enjoyed it I'm sorry if it was kind of all over the place I forgot that I was filming and just kind of went like meep, 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 meep. but hopefully you guys liked it if you did please give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't I will be posting more Halloween looks this month of October so be sure to keep a lookout for that and I will see you guys in my next video